Hello and welcome my friend. And next I am planning to talk to you that what to do if I have def defect in my car. Okay, defect in my car. I have in here paper that I remember to talk all things to you. And now this my topic is that what is wrong in my car? If there is engine fire code on in our car's dashboard. Okay, and what that means? It's, it means that when we quite soon we are going to look in their inside, I will show that in this my car there is issue in this engine and this engine engine light means that now there is something wrong in this my car. Okay, this is the first point that we have noticed that now we have something wrong. Okay, and let's do so that we go to check right away that what is wrong in this my car. Okay, and then for that job I need to take this my camera and then we go in here we go to look that situation in here inside and there is my car's dashboard and then I take my car's key and it is important to start this car and always start car in outside because now I do a bad mistake when I start this engine only within couple couple of seconds because there is those the gasoline exhaust gas is inside, but this is very fast start. And then when we look in here, we can see that hey, there is now warning light on, and there are those cars gears light, and this tells to me that now we we have issue, and now I shut down this engine. Okay, and then we go to look this uh, more 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 information next. Okay, so and we have now issue that this our car cars there is some defect and what to do next. Okay, what next thing is that we need to somehow to find this issue because now it is engine issue and it is easy to see that. It is it is is in somewhere in here. Okay, so easy. And what is this defect? Now I can uh, now I can show to you that because I have magic touch. You I can see that hey, this is this sensor. Do you believe me? No, because this was this this was joke. Uh, but the real thing is that I need some extra devices and here I have two excellent devices and first I need this uh, when I start to search this my car's defect I need that kind of OPD2 diagnostic tool for Android devices and PCs there is this information and this is like wireless diagnostic adapter and this part I am planning to soon install in my cars this uh, slot and then this is Bluetooth device there is Bluetooth comment and it means that it sent wireless way data to some another there is by the way even Bluetooth logo and it sent data to Android uh, devices remember only for Android if you have Apple cell phone like Apple that kind of cell phone please go to purchase right away Android cell phone cell phone and if you have uh, maybe Apple Apple tablet please go to purchase right away this Android tablet and then we can start to find this my car's defect. Okay, and I am so 
so fast man that I have this Samsung tablet and then when I open that tablet I can I can open this my tablet and then we can look a little bit this my software. Okay, and there is this my software. Okay, and first I show you that how we can get this dog web program. And this dog web program was in there and I I went in this Google Play Store, there is this click. And then when we have this internet access, I have this wireless access, we are now in internet. We need to first to do this our uh, user name in this Google Google Play Store and this Google Store and then we can get and purchase these applications. An app means like programs and it is easy to find these programs in this Google Google Store that I need to only type in here this Togue Togue and there we can see that there is actually those programs and then I click search and then this system automatically it gives many possibilities and we need to then get take this oh sorry we need to take this Tokue Pro Pro what is in here that one and this Tokue light is free but too too bad and we choose that and then we need to only click in that button what you have in here that purchase and then we can install that program and this is the program what we need. And I have already installed that program and then there is code that uninstall but I don't like to uninstall because we need that program soon. Okay and then we go to first page and I can start this my program in that way. And then this my system needs that I need to connect this uh, Bluetooth adapter in my car slot and let's go to do that next okay and now we are in this my car's cabin area and then we need to find place in that my slot and in many cars and I, I use little bit light and then when we look in this our dashboard normally there is situation that these places are in here in that little bit up on this car gas and brake pedals little bit up and let's go to look at what we can find can we find anything there is gas pedal and then when we look in here up they are normally little bit hidden yeah and yes there is this white slot and there is this my device and then I need to only insert that in same way in here and remember they are a little bit hidden and if you have difficulties to find that slot please visit in your car's dealership center and they will right away or some service and then I install that in it's not now maybe now it goes and then when this system is ready it should to start send red light and let's look yes now it's ready excellent and this, and this means that now it's sending data okay very good there is this my slot in place and then when everything is good, is sending data. There's my disliked and dashboard, and then I turn off this my light, and then I take this my tablet. Okay, good. There's this my Android tablet, 
and it's there and then I need to do so that when my car is in idle I need to start this myself my tablet it is in, in there okay now we can see better and then I like to see right away but what defects what defects I have faulty codes I think this my device say that hey now there is that defect but before of that I need to start my car and of course I need to check that is there all connections okay and there is this adapter status and now it says that this is okay, this Bluetooth connection adapter, the connection to ECU, there is issue. And now I think that I need to start a little bit my car. And then maybe this change in different. Okay, now it's fine, yes. Now it is fine, okay. And then I need to do so that I I check this faulty codes and then I tap this my my look search those And engine is good to keep running and oh sorry. Now I have to do that again. And then of course if engine is running, please open door. Door is now open. Good. And then we go to continue. It's my job. Okay, and I start again, again, <coughs> again engine, and there is this my system, there is my system, again faulty codes, I click, click that, and there is this button that more, and I press that, and refresh, it is important. And then it start to again check that what is my error codes status. And there is by the way percentage. There is 50, 50, 60. And soon we have those all defects. Ninety-one. Oh, and then there is this faulty code log, and this system says that there is one current faulty, and this faulty's name is P one one three five, and now it says that it is power tried, and now it is next trick. When we look that. Faulty code, we need to press that first and then it gives information. Faulty code that in PMV cars it, it is O2 sensor, and then when I have Toyota car, air fuel sensor heater, secret response bank one sensor one. And this means that now we are in uh, upper level, and bank one means that. It is like this, this uh, left side. There is logic in this number. And sensor one is this first one. And then we can go to look that next. But there is also interesting wet look up. But we can check in internet. If we are in, in this wireless uh, network, we can see that, okay, trouble codes. And there is Lexus, Mazda, Jaguar, Infinity. And final, final one is Toyota, and there is 
there is this uh, comment that even it is power train it is in Toyota cars is air fuel ration sensor heater circuit malfunction it means that in this my 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 sensor what is in this my my exhaust pipe and actually exhaust manifold there is issue in heater circuit and cause is wiring airfoil ration sensor in wiring is this and wiring wires are errors and that means that I need to replace most commonly my sensor okay and then we go to look in car area that where is this sensor but before of that I like to show you that how we can erase because now there is this error code in there but how I can take how I can remove this error code because this is the piece and the big point and it happens so that when engine is running I click again more and there is clear faults on ECU I click that and then there is message okay do you really want to take and there is okay and then when I press that it sends that now it is clearing and by the way my warning light is also away away and now it clears my computer's memory and now there is no any more these defects but remember now it's back and that means that now there is always this sensor issue that I need to replace this part but sometimes when we use this faulty manager it can take those defects away and now when I like to check that what is there bad I click refresh and now it check my car's computer and look it is fireless it sent data in the sensor what was in there this white sensor and now it sends data in my computer and there is pro percentage in there so on it's ready and again and there is the same issue okay and now that means that that I have to replace this my uh, sensor and let's go to look that in my engine area next okay okay and where is this my sensor what gives this information it is in in this cable in here and, and then when we look in here that area the sensor location is is in here this is that that part and there goes cable and connection point is in there but when I open this switch in here I can take this part away and when I have replaced that that sensor then this file record will be will be disappear and it is it is almost 99% sure and if there happens so that this uh, error code is still in there then we need to replace this cars this ECU unit like electric computer unit and it is the bigger thing but I believe that it is not issue because I already I replaced that sensor and there was another faulty code what was uh, this uh, P P1136 and there is every sensor there is different code but this is this issue area that I need to replace that sensor and then this my file record is away okay but this sensor job is different video and of course I can try to do a new video but this is the issue and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you